quick look at some of the stuff that is available. Look at the video. Figure out if there's anything you want in here. Oh, yeah, those gun mounts down there. Wiring harnesses. That's um, snowplow springs. That's what those are in the back. And uh, water pumps. Inner cowl. More wiring harnesses. Ignore the spare tire carrier. Although there's going to be another one. A couple oil pans. I think they're for a 6.2. That's an oil filler neck. If you like these little silly bandoliers, let me know. A bunch of doors. There are two sets of camo, full sets of doors. Uh, some of them still new in the wrapper. Some of them lightly used. None of them are really bad. Uh, two-man top a completely white four-man top Let's see what else we have out here oh some radio stuff if you like uh, if you like the military radios those are gutted and uh, two of them are sandblasted so they're ready to redo and uh, there's a radio power supply let's see here we go oh, that one looks NOS it's an old uh, PRC-25, PRC-77, I'm not sure which that is. The ST, ST what is it, S-T-E-I-C-E, -E, something like that. The test kits down there. Um, let's see, that's a VIC-1 intercom system. Oh, if you need the reservoirs, I got some reservoirs with the pumps and some uh, LED side markers. They're fancy white, so you can paint them whatever color you want. Um, oh, so here's a uh, regulator for a 60 amp generator. I've also got two NOS 60 amp generators and uh, a few. That's a LED tail light and a regular tail light and a blackout LED blackout light and a LED turn signal. There's a regular turn signal. We got gunner's harnesses. Um, I don't even know what this is. If you know what that is, let me know. I have a feeling that's for an LMTV. But it ended up in the file. Um, what do we have here? These are like heater control cables. Um, and then uh, X door windows. I may have to keep those. And we've got all kind of little stuff in here. You can't see in there really. An old brake lever. Um, these are the brackets the tow hook brackets that go on a bumper so that you can hook up to a tow bar. Um, switch, that's a three lever switch without the levers. There's another one down there with the levers. They both look brand new. I'm not even sure. Seal plane encased. I don't know what that is. Um, an air duct for an air conditioner, HVAC air duct. Uh, you have to open that, see what's in it. And a bunch of different uh, the outer handles, if you need soft door outer handles. I got a bunch of those in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, body mount spacers. Got a uh, couple batches, a couple different types in here. Uh, seat belts. So this is the, uh, is that the lower? I don't know, upper, lower. I got a couple different kinds in here. We got a few of the uh, part that you plug into and the, the inertial reel side yeah. more stuff in there i don't know a couple different types of seats this is a neat one that folds up it's got the little uh levers here for fold and recline and it's got the uh, moving base section to go forward and aft this is a normal humvee high back that's a uh, high back you know the commander seat there. I've got a few of these um, Humvee dash panels if anyone needs that. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we can get too easy? Oh, yeah, I bet someone will want this. This is a uh, the Fording intake stack. It's a brand new NOS and you can see uh, there are multiples. Look it up if you're interested in that. Be sure you got the right one. Um, some brake calipers. Um, I'm not even sure. I hadn't looked these up yet. Uh, that one had been sitting out. The rest of them are still in the package. I mean, it's just a little surface stuff on there. But uh, 
So that, I think those two are the same, and these two look to be the same. There's the Innocent there. I'm gonna hang on to the Willwood stuff right now because uh, when my when my uh, Rev B truck shows up, it's gonna, it's gonna need some brake work, I already know. Um, and we got uh, the drive shaft here. You can see what number that is if you're looking for one of those. And a uh, ball joint and a little axle with the two CVs on it and some shocks. There's a 210 amp generator, which I didn't even know about these until recently. But if you look on the for sale page, you'll see that um, I've got a, uh, what's it called, PS Magazine? Is that what it is? Where they did a little cartoon informational thing about the 210 amp um, generator replacement for the Humvee and you have to get a different pulley to put on it but that's it. Uh, so I mentioned there's a voltage regulator for a 60 amp, there's an, an NOS 60 amp, another NOS 60 amp and then another voltage regulator sitting up there. We've got a full dash panel here not only is it a dash panel, it's got the um, 80 mile per hour speedometer, the electric speedometer and actually I've got two more of those um, one that has zero miles and the other's got, you know, less than 5,000 miles showing on it. Uh, there's a, uh, what do you call that, tailgate here, tan tailgate. And the, the hinges have been busted off, but, uh, you know, you can drill the rivets, put new hinges on. I've got a few of these um, speakers. I think this piece is actually off an LMTV. I'm not sure what it is. I just wanted the speaker when I got it. And I picked up a few. I've got these mirrors, they're dirty, but uh, that you can hook up creatively if you like. I've got a bigger set in black somewhere in here. What else we got back here? Um, springs, oh, we talked about that. That's plow springs. And we've, I've got some trailer cables and some extra ends for them. There's some uh, slave cable stuff down there, and and the uh, ST, what is it, STE ice, whatever. Uh, you know what, let me go out and look at the stuff that's in the storage room too. All right, so a couple hoods here. They got the wiring harnesses and the lights. So these are uh, LEDs on the side, and then conventional turn signals, and probably an LED blackout light. Those are ECV hoods. Uh, three of them there, so if you need one of those. So there's a Laverne bumper with the mounts. I've got the other type of mounts in the garage as well, if anyone needs those. And uh, there's a comms antenna tower. Uh, that was on a two-man truck when I got it a few years ago. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that bike. The kids outgrew it. This is a gypsy rack. This here coming across that M shape goes over the front windshield that comes down you know the center post and then the back one hooks up over the uh, I guess it'd be about where the C pillar is um, and then you know, you put your rack up on top of that tires and a missile guidance system battery mount and a heater uh, heater box there Oh, there's a comms rack up there. That's a big, neat one. It goes behind the uh, front seat. Uh, okay, a tailgate, and that is the old AM General type. And it's a little, it's been tweaked. It's got a couple bends in it, but I think it's still workable. And we've got some, uh, these are the, the good two-man dividers. So you can use it for a two-man or you can cut it down if you need to. Those are some of the rear door filler panels. Pretty cool if you want to make a set of rear half doors. These are not the PVC bead locks. They're the other, what is it, high density polyethylene or something. It's a, it's a different type of material uh, that, that's not as fragile as the PVC. Um, and I got those uh, for the first Humvee and then ended up not using them. I just left the, left the run flats in until I eventually took them out and never put those in. So if someone needs those, uh, look at that. There's a there's a light bar hiding under there uh, that may or may not be available. I'm not sure yet. Uh, this is a cargo co cover. Uh, I don't know that it's ever been put on the back of a truck, but uh, it's been bunched up here for a while, and it looks like a mouse ate a little hole in it there. That's the only thing I know about that one. Uh, this is a turret hole cover for um, a hard top 
so when they take the turret out they put that little round sheet metal up there here we've got this is neat this is off of a 94 to 98 h1 hummer recruit it's the full roll cage that goes over the front seats the back seats and then it slants down into the cargo bed this still new in the plastic is the uh, padding that wraps around all the roll bars so it's a nice tan these are the bows for the soft top that goes on top you know so you can put it up or down and um, and there's that soft top so I'm not sure that tops ever even been installed it's got a small it's got a little tear it's like this shaped is four inches on one side six inches on the other uh, that can be patched back up um, yeah that's what I know about that um, so let's see down here these are the I was, I was told these are a pillars it's the flat section that goes um, at the base of the windshield all the way across the truck so if the truck's been in a wreck or anything and has any damage up there this has got to be replaced so i've got a few of those uh, really really hard to find uh, but they're in there if you need them so let's see that's the back of the roll cage this spare tire it's a swing out tire mount so you see that's up here and then the pivot is down under there this is uh, this is going to be available, and I'm sorry it's kind of interwoven with the roll bar, but uh, I've only got one hand since I'm holding the camera. I can't get it out. That's a jerry can holder that swings out. That uh, I think that one's going to go on the Battle Wagon Three, and then this I was going to use, but I've got a different tire carrier, so this one is going to be available. A swing out tire carrier. Here we've got one, two, three, four Pioneer toolkit racks. Uh, in uh, what do we call this? We'll call this battle worn. Everyone likes battle worn, right? So that one's a little bit weathered and they get progressively newer. You know, that looks used but scratched and NOS but dusty. And this one looks like um, <laughs> look, looks like it's got all the tools in it and uh, probably has never even been put on a truck. So there's no uh, scarring on that where it's sitting in storage. This is a uh, I think this one is the Humvee winch plate down here, and I have a Hummer H1 winch plate buried somewhere. So two different styles of front, you know, bumper winch plate. If uh, if you need one of those, this doghouse cover has got this interesting bump on it that I believe is to clear the distributor in a gas engine uh, Hummer H1. So if you're doing a conversion to a uh, gas powered truck maybe you're going to need that uh, this is a turbo dog house that uh, i've already got a waiting list of people waiting for me to box and get a shipping quote on that i think it's gone this is a regular uh humvee dog house and uh i've got a set of one two three the fourth one's outside uh, these are wrangler mts that have probably i'm going to call that 50 or 60 percent tread on them on 12 bolt wheels if someone needs those let me know there's the um, the little short rear bumper with the pintle if anyone needs that uh, we saw a bunch of doors inside just a couple more uh, soft doors out here this uh, is a driver's um, x door it's got uh, got a good window I don't think it's ever been mounted some of the hardware is gone actually most of the hardware is gone I think it's got the window a window frame assembly it's got this cover and the door latch and uh, and it's got the handle on the outside and everything else is gone and I don't know if this was I'm assuming someone drilled that hole I don't know it could be a bullet hole I have no idea um, but uh, Anyhow, not in bad shape. I mean, God, for what I see some people buying, no fiberglass work except for filling that hole. Uh, if you got an ambulance, here are the, the slanted buckets to hold the uh, rear lights. Oh, you know what? I've been meaning to get a picture of one of these, and I hadn't, hadn't remembered to get it out. These are really cool. It's a uh, trailer hitch. Let me see if I can get a hold of it. Man, this thing's heavy. Um, so as I understand it, in this slot, in the slot right here, you'd slide that up around the um, 
airlift bumper on the back. So this one's made for an H1 because it doesn't have a hole here. Right in the middle of those four would be a hole for the Pentel on a Humvee. And then it's got the uh, receiver hitch. It's really hard to do with one hand, by the way. But it's a you know heavier reinforced uh, uh, pinball trailer hitch option if someone's looking for that. Uh, I've got a couple of those and one of them, that one, you may be able to see, has the hole drilled. I'm going to put this one on my truck because it's got the hole for the pin. Pole. So um, that's something you could do pretty easily is drill that hole. Uh, got a bunch of jerry can holders. I think there are about eight of them in there. This is the B pillar, uh, the horizontal piece that goes behind the back seat. So when people cut behind their back seat, they'll either notch or just cut that piece out completely, which really screws up the structural integrity of the truck. Um, you know, they're kind of hosed. Unless you have one of these, you can actually replace the entire thing with that. So uh, really not, not your everyday stuff here. Um, all right, so we got the left and right, uh, what do we call these? The fender mount antenna mounts. I don't know, I think maybe these antenna bases are already spoken for. I'm not sure yet, but I've got these two. I think I've got four or six or something more of these that I haven't picked up yet. Um, here's a whip antenna. Uh, that's a full one. That one will probably have to stay here because it's stuck together. I got a uh, probably one, two, three, four, four or five others that uh, I've got to put together. I got a couple more uh, elements and things to pick up. There are three fuel tanks here, and they've got uh, two of them have got the whole um, everything in, uh, is already installed, they're ready to go. And uh, this one's never been mounted, it's new. There's one still in the box down here that's again got all the stuff already installed in it so if you need a fuel tank if you like the h1 dash look here's the dash panel and uh, the little closeout panel that goes up underneath the dash there's one of those if you like that uh, let's see here's that third fuel tank this is a really neat kind of comms rack you see it bolts i believe this goes maybe it goes on a fender in the back i'm not sure I'm thinking it goes between the seats, um, excuse me, between the seats behind, on the tunnel, behind the, the driver and passenger on that tunnel section. I think that's where that goes. And it's actually a, uh, it's kind of neat. It's a Naval, Pro Naval Electronic Systems Command. All right, so there you go. Does that mean this was a SEAL Team part? Ooh, I think the price just went up. Yeah, I don't know, but it's uh, it looks to be NOS. It's got some connection cables in here. Some of them still in the bag. Sorry, it's upside down. Oh, you see the tactical Crocs back there. Nice. Okay, what else? Um, I'm gonna keep the long slave cable. There's a 12 and a half foot one in here. There are, that's the old headlight bezel. There are two new ones under there as well. The other ones have the, the trim ring on them. Uh, there are a couple more of these dash panels in there. Uh, they're in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's steering shafts down there as well. There's a steering shaft in the bag and another one. So if you need the internal steering shaft and a vent cover for the heater. This is kind of a neat uh, little stubby brush guard. It's just the center section. It's got the two vertical posts and then it's got that mesh in the middle and uh, Oh, I bet that's what that other set. I've got another set of brush guard mounts in the garage. As I've got the Laverne brush guard and it has mounts on it, I bet that other set goes with this. So that's that's pretty cool if you're into that. Oh, a couple other things. This is padding for the back of an ambulance. And uh, it's uh, new, uh, new old stock. It was a little musty with this canvas, so I set it out. It's raining yesterday, so I set it out to let it uh, rinse off just like this uh, seat. It's got the full seat base, so if you're into the old school seat, that's a complete one. Uh, let's see here, these are ambulance panels. So this is a roof panel for the ambulance body, and this 
below it is a side panel so you see that kind of angled cut at the, that would be the aft end of it and then coming up over the body where it fits in the back of the Humvee and there's the, the side so if someone's got an ambulance body and needs some panels for it here we go yep trailer is not going to go there's the tires and I about forgot that there are some uh, airlift bumpers down there if you need an airlift bumper there's that radio tray we saw from the other side some uh, old school commander seat seat backs um, and I've got the base the battery cover base that goes with that as well if someone needs to uh, if they got an older truck and need the front end here's a uh, would you call that that would be the right front quarter panel I think so the air box, uh, the air filter housing sits here and the air intake goes on that. So if you need uh, one. Thanks for watching. Sorry for being such a janky ass video. Let me know what you want. Shoot me an email, parts at gear-report.com. G-E-A-R hyphen R-E-P-O-R-T.com. Uh, or send me a private message or text or, you know, if you know how to get a hold of me, you know how to get a hold of me. All right, thanks.